Hi, and welcome to this introductory video on BISDN Linux, our solution to provide you with a capable open source white box switch and router. If you're looking for a switch for a small or a large data center, you want to configure your own router using open source tools, or you're just interested in configuring networks using Linux, then you should try BISDN Linux. We support a growing number of white box switches. For a complete list of our supported platforms, please follow the link in the description. Now let's get started. BISDN Linux ships with an SDN controller called Basebox D. In this video, we're first going to give you a short introduction to how our controller works. We'll start by showing you how it integrates with the Linux networking stack, and then we'll show you how it communicates with the switch hardware using OpenFlow. We'll go into depth on the components that make up BISDN Linux and show what each individual component does. Let's first look at the abstract concept of how BISDN Linux works. The basic idea is to use the Linux kernel as a state keeper, which stores things like VLAN configuration and IP addresses of interfaces. Apart from those relatively static configurations, it also maintains dynamic state in routing and forwarding tables, and learns neighbors from traffic that comes in on interfaces. Whenever changes occur in the network state, the kernel announces them on a bus called Netlink. Basebox D, our SDN controller, acts as a translator between Netlink events and the switch ASIC. It therefore mirrors both the static and dynamic kernel network state down to the switch hardware. This means that the user can interact with the familiar Linux networking tools such as IPRoute 2, SystemD NetworkD, or FRR to configure their system. BISDN Linux then will take care of propagating these changes down to the switch hardware. Here we can see a summary of the components that make up BISDN Linux. Notice how the routing engine FRR and the SDN controller both communicate with the intermediate layer called Netlink. Netlink is a Linux kernel interface used for communication between both the kernel and user space processes and also between different user space processes. Among several network-related configurations, Netlink deals with receiving route and link updates and may also be used to modify things like the routing tables, IP addresses, or link parameters. Netlink messages are picked up by our SDN controller, Basebox D. Just like the Linux kernel, Basebox D also listens to the Netlink bus. But whereas the kernel stores the state, Basebox D translates the network changes to OpenFlow messages and communicates southbound with OF agent. OpenFlow is simply a communication protocol between a controller and an OpenFlow agent. The protocol defines actions that can be executed on packets that match some criterion. Examples of actions could be drop the packet, or forward the packet to port 2, or rewrite MAC address and forward the packet to port 2. On the white box, we use a dialect of OpenFlow that is version 1.3 plus some Broadcom specific enhancements. The major difference to a standard OpenFlow, as in OpenV switch, is that here, the switch is exposed as an abstract pipeline composed of a series of tables that every packet has to traverse from the incoming to the outgoing port or ports. This abstract pipeline implies that only certain OpenFlow actions are allowed in certain tables. Therefore, Basebox D is a translator which listens for changes in the states of the switch and the Linux tab interfaces. OF Agent is a daemon which provides the OpenFlow connection between the control plane and the lower layer of the Broadcom SDK that apply the intended configuration to the switch ASIC itself. It listens to incoming OpenFlow messages from Basebox D and forwards them to the next software component on our list, which is OFDPA. Broadcom provides the OpenFlow data plane abstraction, or OFDPA, as an interface to write network rules to the switch ASIC. It's a software component that implements an adaption layer between OpenFlow and the Broadcom SDK. In simpler terms, OFDPA translates OpenFlow messages into messages that can be read and understood by the next layer, the Broadcom SDK. OFDPA provides an OpenFlow-like programmer's interface, but more importantly, it exposes the ASIC as a programmable unit. The Broadcom SDK enables us to do software-defined networking with full hardware acceleration directly on the switch ASIC. 
which results in a significant performance boost for packet processing in comparison to handling them in software. Although technically not a part of BI Stand Linux, the ASIC and CPU are the two hardware components where packets can be processed. The ASIC is specifically produced and optimized for packet processing and can do so much faster than the CPU. Every packet that enters the switch on a data port will be processed by the ASIC, which decides what to do with the packet. The ASIC can drop the packet, send it out through a different port, or pass it on to the operating system. Generally, packets that should be forwarded should be processed by the ASIC, and only packets that are meant for the switch itself should be processed by the CPU, since it's much slower at processing packets. So to sum up what we just talked about, we can show a simplified view of BIST in Linux on this slide. On the top, we use default Linux tools to configure the network state that gets stored in the Linux kernel. Basebox D then applies this state to the switch hardware by sending instructions down to the switch ASIC using OpenFlow. We now have hardware accelerated packet switching. It really is that simple. Now we have just made the white box switch ASIC configurable like any other Linux system. Remember that BISDN Linux is open source and completely free for anyone to use. You can always refer to our documentation over at docs.bisdn.de and the latest switch images are always available for free at repo.bisdn.de. Thank you and goodbye.